For centuries, man has admired the smooth, effortless flight of the gull and has longed to do the same. Today, in quiet, soaring sail planes, he glides through the skies in a near duplication of the gull's natural flight. Here, amidst some of the ruggedest mountains of the Austrian Tyrol, the sight of a graceful motorless plane is no novelty to local townspeople or farmers. To the valley of the Enns River come young people from all over Europe to take advantage of the constant air currents so necessary for gliding. In this glider conscious community, even the farmer checks the wind. But a meter in the hands of an expert is more reliable. Actually, men successfully flew gliders before the Wright brothers invented power-driven flight. And there are still people who prefer gliding as a sport. There's something thrilling in being a full partner with the wind and staying aloft hours at a time without any other help but your own skill. You just don't climb into your lightweight craft and take off, however. First, there's a lot of theory to understand. How air currents behave. How warm air makes you rise. How wave-like winds make you glide. But even the longest lessons come to an end. And finally, the instructor acquaints his pupils with the two-seater training glider. The stick may be moved in four directions, raising and lowering the wings for turns, and raising or lowering the bow for climbing or nosing down. To reduce speed before landing, you use your air brakes on the wings. Wire rope cable wound up by a winch provides the start, taking the plane up like a paper kite. When all is ready, a phone call to the winch operator puts the adventure in motion. At a signal from the flagman, the operator will start the motor and the plane will be on its way upward. Wire rope is 4,000 feet long and is attached to a small parachute which will let the cable down gently when the glider has reached sufficient height. And there it goes up at the rate of 36 feet a second. The wire cable is cast loose and the glider is airborne. First flights last only a few minutes, and the glider stays over the field. These delicate craft are usually handmade. From the building of struts to the application of varnish, careful workmanship will mean extra minutes in the air. make about 25 flights with the instructor before taking over the rudder alone. This doesn't mean they're ready to solo, however. One of the secrets to becoming a glider pilot is the ability to maintain a relaxed confidence. Some people say it takes even more than flying a real airplane, because here you're constantly battling the force of gravity with no artificial means to combat it.
Finally, there comes the day when the instructor thinks his fledglings are ready to soar off by themselves. Who will it be? Who, me? But in she goes. This is no time to lose confidence. This is the moment she's been waiting for. The fine points of theory are behind her now, and so are the flights with the instructor in the dual control glider. Good luck, Gretchen. It's a long way down, all right. Now, how did she let that happen? but not too bad for her first solo. Congratulations, Gretchen. You've made the grade in one of the most exciting sports in the world, riding the wind with a sailplane. <laughs>